Good morning, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. This video is part two of a series on dealing with a couple of issues with a very special climbing rose in my garden. If you haven't seen the first part, you can check it out here, follow the link. This is a rose that I got as a cutting and I don't know the name of it. It's a very old variety of rose and it's very, very fragrant. I have this rose. You can see she's really vigorous. She covers my shed fantastically well. Loaded, loaded, loaded with buds. Those buds don't always turn into flowers, however. So let me let me show you what I'm talking about. This rose is prone to a physiological phenomenon called bud ball. Sometimes it's called bud blast, although that term is also used for a pathogenic problem in rose buds. Here you can see the roses that open fully. The problem of bud ball tends to occur in the peony type roses and the roses that are incredibly deeply ruffled. Um, really, really compact, thick layers of ruffles. So what happens, you can see this is it right here. What's with bud ball is that we get a period of rain which causes the buds to swell immediately followed by a period of sunshine which causes the outer layer of petals to desiccate and shrink up as they're baked in the sunshine. The middle of the bud is still full of moisture and attempting to want to unfurl. And what it ends up happening is you get the outer petals constricting the bud and basically mummifying it like that so it can never open. So the way to deal with bud ball is if you have a, a good rain and then the sun comes out, come out and pick off your outer layer of, of petals around the outside. So I wanna take off all of these, which is hard to do one hand, it'll have to come back and do it afterward. And then your blossom will recover. Take off those dry outer petals and then the rose will be able to open. You don't wanna leave it with those desiccated outer petals constricting the bud or it will never open, which is a great sadness because this rose is such a beauty. The problem I have is that way up high on the shed, I can't reach the ones that get bud ball without getting on a ladder. So what I typically do for this rose is I just pray we don't have rain followed by a patch of bright sunny weather, which unfortunately we have gotten this year. And again, this is a physiological phenomenon. It is not pathogenic. It's not caused by any disease. Um, it just happens in some of those deeply ruffled old varieties of roses much more commonly when you have the right weather pattern. And here in the Pacific Northwest, we get that weather pattern consistently in May. So this is a problem with this rose probably three out of every five years. I still am gonna give her another chance, another couple of chances, because she's just so beautiful. If you think you know the name of this rose, by the way, let me know. I'd love to know, because again, I got it as a cutting. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You can also check out my Patreon, which is in the description below. Supporting me helps me make more videos about cottage gardening, permaculture, and sustainable living. Hope you are enjoying your spring in the garden, and I'll be back soon. Thanks.